Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Karen Lavender Clothesline and as you can probably see we have a table full of stuff today that I picked up yesterday at Goodwill. I did source yesterday for about 11 hours. I was sourcing with my boyfriend Roger and I think we took about a one hour break and had lunch together. But other than that we were hitting quite a few Goodwills, 11 hours, total sourcing and today I'm going to share what I found. Pretty excited about these finds. So if you don't know who I am, I'm a full-time eBay reseller. I earn my living this way and as one person doing this to create this kind of income, it is a challenge. Now I do have my daughter Lisa who comes in on Wednesdays for five hours and helps me out with a little bit of photographing. Other than that, it's all me. I am earning my living this way and having a great time doing it. I love to show you guys hauls of what I'm picking up. In case you're out there thrifting too and you're not quite sure what to pick up or what kind of money things will bring, I like to share with you guys what I'm finding and when it's a surprise of what kind of profit it brings. All right, so that's what we're doing today. We're doing a haul and I might also do a high profit thrift finds. So hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get going. Let's take a look at what I bought. All right, so hopefully this camera angle is good. And as you can probably tell, I wheeled in a rack of clothing. Now I didn't pick all of this up yesterday, some of it, but I didn't want to sort it all out. So I'm just going to pull the pieces that I got yesterday. And we're not going to do all of this, just a few of the pieces. The first thing that I'm going to pull are a few articles of clothing. I couldn't believe this stuff was coming out, you know? Some days you go thrifting and it's so humdrum and not good stuff and other times it's like it comes out all at once and you're just filling your carts and that was yesterday the kind of day that I had. Now we did pick up a lot more than what I'm showing you here but some of it is already being processed, some of it is not really anything that I want to show. One thing I do want to touch on is the main question you guys are asking me is how I balance life with all of this going on. I don't know too many eBay resellers that are fully supporting themselves on eBay as a single person and also doing YouTube and also taking care of a house and whatever. I'm sure you guys are out there. Leave a comment down below if you guys know of anybody else that is juggling and keeping all the balls in the air. Always a challenge, but I am having a great time. So when I'm in the thrift store, that's why I pick up clothing and hard goods. I want to make sure that my time is really spent with the highest amount of money being made for the time that I'm using. Because one person doing this, time is your biggest nemesis. I always say that. The first item is a Michael, Michael Kors vest. So it's like a puffer quilted vest with that shiny wet look. I call that. And what did I pay for this? I paid $6.99 for it. Beautiful condition. I don't pick up a lot of Michael Kors. Like if it's a woman's blouse or something like that, I have a tendency to leave Michael Kors behind. But because this is in such beautiful condition, I almost think this is new. I said yes to it. I'm not sure, guys, what this is going to bring. I didn't even run comps. I saw it at such a good buy-in price. I just picked it up. So yesterday in this Goodwill, the resellers were on it. There was so much competition. There was aggression. There was all kinds of things going on. I tried to just keep the pace and keep doing what I know to do. Sometimes it's a madhouse. And racks of clothing were coming out. Um, shelves of hard goods were coming out. Everybody was running and, and looking for things. And a few resellers got to the clothing rack before I did, which sometimes it's like, oh, there's not going to be anything good. So I said, just stay focused, you know, have that self-talk in my head, just do what I know to do. And boom, a Burberry jacket. Three or four other resellers passed this up. What? Beautifully lined. Look at this. This thing is gorgeous. So while I was looking at the jacket, I'm like, this looks brand new. And sure enough, a tag fell off. Nordstrom's $895. So I grabbed it. I paid $10.25, but yesterday was Senior Citizens Day, so I did get 15% off. So really glad I just stayed focused and just kept on looking through the racks. All right, let's look at the next piece. The next dress, I 
think I've heard of this brand years ago. I haven't heard of it recently. And when I saw the tag, I'm like, what is that? Dries Van Noten. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. I'm going to show you the tag. Hopefully this will focus. And I knew that it was good by the tag. I always say that a quality product will make a quality tag. So it is like a safari wrap dress. It's kind of wrinkly. Nothing's processed yet. And dresses I paid, oh, they marked this one $1.50. I'm not quite sure what that's about, but okay. You guys see that? $1.50. I'm thinking that's a mistake because it says lingerie on it. And clearly this is not a robe. Maybe they thought it was a robe, but okay, I'll take that. So Dries Van Noten, boy, am I bad at pronouncing that or what? I think brings very good money. Very excited about that one. I do pick up quite a few linens. I do pick up sheets that are vintage. This one I took right away. I believe it's the set. I got these for $2.50. It's the flat sheet and the fitted sheet. And I love it because it has butterflies. Very 60s, 70s. And the other set is just a floral print. Again, $2.50. So I grabbed both sets of those. I do very well with vintage sheets. Yep, I'm just throwing them on the floor here. <laughs> we got to keep this thing moving. All right, let's go into the next piece. Here is a jacket, woman's jacket, Nordica. A pink quilted jacket. And Nordica Stretch Water Resistant. What did this go for? No price tag. Not quite sure where this was sold. This kind of looks like a Macy's tag. But I said yes to that. And what did I pay for it? $12.25 with the 15% off. Like 15% off the $12.25. So I grabbed that. Here's a piece I found really interesting. This was in the third Goodwill that I was in for the day. This is an Ed Sheeran Christmas sweater. <laughs> no idea. And the tag is another British jumper. I think this is a UK brand. I paid $5.75 for it. It does need a little bit of shaving. Just has a little bit of rub wear on the belly, but otherwise in really nice condition. And Ed Sheeran. Do we not love Ed Sheeran? I love his music. So of course I had to say yes to that. Didn't even run a comp. I'm like, Ed Sheeran on a sweater. I don't even know what that's about, but I took it. This is a champion fleece. It is a cropped, new with tags. And what did this go for? Again, from Nordstrom. I think Nordstrom is dumping their merchandise for the end of the year to get that tax write-off. So that is a tip that Roger taught me. The thrift stores, if they're going to receive donations from retail stores, it's going to be most likely in December. That is the month that retail stores dump their items into donation to receive a tax credit for the coming year, you know, when they, when they have their taxes done. And I guess I would have known that, but I didn't even think about it. So it's great having a reseller boyfriend. You can be sure that the majority of our talk is reselling. In fact, <laughs> recently I had to say to him, okay, for the next 10 minutes, let's not talk about thrifting or reselling. And we both looked at each other and started cracking up because that is the majority of our conversation. Yep, pretty boring, but we enjoy it. So champion fleece, what did I pay for this? $5.75, new with tags. It's that real teddy bear soft fleece. I just love this. If you guys are wondering when this stuff is going to be in my store, I'm shooting for next week because this week I have a little bit of backup. I might get some of this on towards the end of the week. Today is Tuesday. It might be on by Friday. So for those of you who see things in videos, thank you so much for your interest. Just know that things are coming. I'm showing you the items when I first get them. They're not processed yet. Okay, this one I bought for myself. I don't normally buy this brand. 32 degree heat. Very, very plush fleece zip up, beautiful condition in a charcoal gray. I freeze in the winter. In fact, we are going to the Penn State game on Saturday. I might quickly wash this and put this on under my jacket because we're going to be outside for many hours and it's supposed to be like 40 degrees. So, um, so I bought this one for me. I don't know that I would have bought it. I might if I got it low enough, but I think I paid, where is the tag? 
I paid $5.75, so that's a little bit high for resale for that brand. Okay, I'm gonna be cheating because I did not pick this up yesterday. Roger went thrifting, I think on Monday, and found this. We pick up items for each other. He is learning very quickly what I buy, and I am trying with all the sports team. Most of what he sells has to do with sports, older board games. Um, he picks up some things I know nothing about. So for me having to learn that, it's gonna take a little while, but he's getting better and better at picking things up for me. This is cotton salsa. Look how good this sweater is. Do we love this? Cats. Yes, we do. The paws on the back. And what did he pay for this? I think he paid $4 for it. So I just thought this was adorable. I have never found cotton salsa and these sweaters will do quite well. This is the last piece of clothing that I'll pick up and then we'll go over some hard goods. This is Margaritaville. So if you find the vintage Margaritaville Jimmy Buffett shirts, which I'm not exactly sure how to identify when they're Jimmy Buffett. It might say it on the tag and this one does not, but I went ahead and grabbed this one. I'm gonna show you the tag. And it has like guitars all over it and lyrics. I thought this was really good. What did I pay for it? $4.99. So when I'm unsure, instead of comping everything, I go ahead and pick it up. I think this will sell whether it's one of the vintage Jimmy Buffett ones or not. I'm not quite sure. If you guys know if the tag says Jimmy Buffett on the ones that bring high money, would you leave a comment down below? Thank you. Okay, we are gonna move on to hard goods and I actually have my glasses, my cup of water, we're good. <laughs> One of the first items that I picked up in the first store was this beautiful Nautilus glass dish or bowl. So stunningly beautiful. Look at the curled end. Do we love this? I love this. This is Polish glass. I don't know the maker, you know, the brand. I did pay $10 minus the 15%, which is what, $1.50, so I paid $8.50 for it and just stunningly beautiful. So I said yes to that. When you're a single seller and you're really trying to up your business, there are a couple things to keep an eye on. And number one is trying to raise your ASP, your average selling price. That's what I've found because there's only so much time in the day. So when I go thrifting, I'm trying to really zone in on the items that I think I can double, triple, quadruple my money you know, as quickly as possible. And a piece like this, I feel is gonna do quite well. Now, when I looked at these online when I got home, some of them don't bring a lot of money, but I think this one will because the pattern on it and the coloring is just stunning. It has coloring like a real seashell. So that's what made me pick it up. The next item is another green glass piece. I'm just finding the green glass lately. How beautiful is this? Pressed glass. Just gorgeous. And did I buy a light yet, a little black light yet? No, I didn't, I don't know. I'm gonna sit down right after this video and order a little black light flashlight so I can see if it's uranium glass. I still have not done that. I don't know what the disconnect is. Sometimes there's just, I don't know, there's just too much to do. But, um, but I do need to do that because I am picking up quite a bit of green glass and selling it without checking it. I don't see that the pieces I'm finding would bring that much more money, but if they would bring more money, if it is uranium glass and it does glow, I need to do that. So I will get on that. I will get on Amazon right after this and order a little black light flashlight I can bring with me in the stores. But how beautiful is this? I paid $4. No idea what this is gonna bring. I think it's gonna do well. Okay, here is our one pair of shoes for our vintage haul. Guys know I'm all about showing shoes during my vintage hauls. I don't know why. Jolly clogs. Did I ever hear of jolly clogs? No, I didn't, but I could tell that they were good. Very well made. Here is the marking here. Come on camera. Whoop, little sunshine there. I saw them sitting on the shelf. I believe these are men's clogs, garden clogs, because they look very wide, but they could be unisex, I'm sure. 7.47. I imagine I'm gonna get probably 30 to 35 for these. They're in very good condition and the liners are nice. So I said yes to those. All right, let's get serious. Hand-thrown pottery. How beautiful is this piece? It's got that swirl going on. It's got the ribs to show it was hand-thrown. 
That's got such a pretty sound. $2.99. I found this in store number four, I think. By the end of the night, I have to be really careful. I'm not just throwing things in my cart because it is exhausting shopping all day long. And I want to make sure that I don't load my store with a lot of items that are under $10 or under $15. Now, if you look at my store, Lavender Clothesline on eBay, you can see I have quite a bit for under, I'm going to say under the $15 mark. Those items have to be items that I can list in like 10 seconds. I don't want to spend a lot of my time listing items that don't bring a high profit. So that leads me to a little bit of a thing here. When you're a single seller, raising what you're making is almost all about time. So you want to find multiple items and create one listing. You want to find some items that have the average selling price above what your normal average selling price is, which you can find that in your seller hub. And you want to find items that people really look for. A lot of times they're not trending items. They're not items that we, you know, all know are popular like iPhones or certain brand tags. Sometimes it's hand-thrown pottery. So I always take a look at it. Beautiful piece. And of course, can I read the signature? Let me see if I can peel this off. Beautiful signature. Mm, I'm going to have to do research. I don't know who that is. But either way, beautiful bowl. And just know, guys, once again, if you want anything from the haul, it's going to be listed probably between Friday and Monday. I'll get this stuff on, hopefully. The next item is the first time I found these. This is Brighton Ferrara Medallion Plate Set. So they are boxed. I paid $4.99. And when you open them, it is a set of plates that graduate from smaller to bigger. Isn't that pretty? I'll go to the next one. You can see that they're brand new. Now we have a square plate with a center medallion. And then a bigger plate. I would imagine for tidbits, for appetizers, if you're putting out like charcuterie and you have olives and things like that, garnishes. So I said yes to them. Again, I didn't look them up, so I have no idea, but I'm going by quality. Designed in Los Angeles, dishwasher safe. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The next item are bookends. <laughs> Do we all know I love bookends? I'm a little bookends obsessed. I thought these were quite cool. Kind of um, wood that's been, what is this called? Not joined, uh, not butcher block. Well, it's like butcher block. So two pieces, two bookends, and I paid $2.99 for the set, so that's great. They do have a little bit of wear. I don't think they're especially old. I'm going to say probably the 80s or the 90s maybe, but um, how could you not love wood bookends? All right, I have to get listing today, so, and shopping and running errands. This will be the last piece, the gold pine cone coffee pot. It's a French pot, I believe. Is that what we call this? A drip pot. And it's in great shape, and I think I just, there we go, made it fall apart. There is the percolator basket. And what did I pay for this? $2.99. I think this is Libby with the gold pine cones and the, the little aqua evergreen. I thought this was really sweet. Oh, one more piece. I lied. <laughs> How cute is she? A vase. She does have a small chip here on the top of her head, but I really like these vases. $4.99 I paid. And just so, I don't know, so sweet, so romantic. Vintage, true vintage. All right, guys, you can tell I'm running. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hit that like and subscribe button. And I'm just going to insert a little bit of a high profit thrift finds here. So if you guys find any of these items, you'll be able to make a high profit too. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours. Here is another episode of High Profit Thrift Finds. These are items that I mostly find in thrift stores, sometimes yard sales, and I like to report back when something brings an especially high profit. So this first item is an Asian dragon and it's embroidered on a square piece of material. I have also seen this on different kimono robes and picked them up. This was just the simple piece of material. $59.40. Most thrift stores won't mark this more than a couple of dollars. 
Next up is Devold. This is a men's jumper or sweater. It is Nordic and I always pick up vintage wool sweaters when they are made in Ireland, Scotland, you know, things like that. Norway, $64.50, really beautiful quality and the buyer was thrilled. Here is a lot of handles that everybody was passing by because who wants to deal with a big lot of handles? I do, $74.99. These are just the typical oak pulled wood ones and some of them were not in great shape, but the buyer bought them anyway. They were going international. Here is the beautiful Yarjo mermaid figure that I just picked up. I picked her up at the flea market. I paid $40 and she sold for a hundred very quickly. Next up, the two t-shirts I just talked about in the last video. If you haven't seen that video, you might want to watch that where I give a few tips on how to look for vintage t-shirts and other t-shirts that bring very good money. The first one sold after 26 bids, $147.50 and the second one for $111.50. They both had flaws, still brought an amazing profit. Here is a robe. I do sell a lot of pre-owned robes. I always look for the cruise line robes that are given to people and $47.50. I believe I paid $5.50 for this. Next up, Pottery Barn. Are you guys sick of me talking about Pottery Barn? This is a pre-owned kids lizard duvet cover, $46.75. I paid $2.50. Here is a pair of boots. I love finding Hunter, especially the original ones, the ones that are made from Scotland. Hunter was also a collab with Target. I don't do as well with those. Here it is, $69.99 was the sale, and I paid $7.47. A fry pan, these cast iron skillets are fire, <laughs> $52, and this is a Wagner. Now, if you find the Griswold, those are even better. So keep your eyes open for different cast iron fry pans. Here is just a simple pair of Ralph Lauren boots, and I picked these up because they were in decent shape. And to me, this is the Ranger style. When I add Ranger to my Keywords, people really seem to like that, $59.40. I believe I paid $7.47 for these also. Here is one of the Pottery Barn duvet covers. I picked up two shopping carts filled, overloaded, when Pottery Barn puts their items on clearance. I paid $24 for these and I bought every one they had. I think altogether I got about 14 of them and I only have one or two left, $114.50. Pottery Barn almost always is a yes for me. Next up is an evening gown. I'm very choosy with what gowns I pick up because they take a lot of work, but I look for current styles, quality, and just beautiful workmanship, $65.40, and I paid $6.50. Here is a dress I think we all recognize, Maeve Anthropology. This was new, but I got it in a thrift store, $83.99. I loved the pattern, and I loved the style, and the size was great too. I paid $6.50. This next item is a large wood Nutcracker. This thing was massive. $150 and it sold local on uh, eBay local pickup. Here's a Bible. I sell a lot of Bibles. Sometimes I wonder if I should be sharing this or not because they are getting harder to find, but I love sharing this with you guys. Most times you're picking up Bibles from $1 to $3, $45. This is the Jimmy Swaggart Bible. Here is another pre-owned bathrobe. I told you I sold a lot of bathrobes. $107.40. This is Roberta Di Camerino. And right away, I noticed the quality, even though I didn't know this brand before I found this robe. Here is a gorgeous men's sport coat or blazer jacket. I even made a mistake in my keywords by putting two buttons together. This is Laura Piana cloth made by Brooks Brothers, $124.50, and I paid, I believe I paid either $7.99 or $9.99. And last, one last time, the vintage sweater, Kugi, Kuji, everybody is battling over how to say this name, $600, 
and I paid under $7. Thrilled with this find. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours.